Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. So I just got done filming a video. I actually have a dentist appointment in like 10 minutes. I probably shouldn't even be vlogging right now, but I just let Bernard out really quick to pee and I'm gonna head out. But I just wanted to say, hey, I miss you guys. I know it's been over a month since my last vlog. Life has just been busy. I've honestly just been working nonstop, just filming, editing, uploading. My days have been looking the same like the past month or so. That's why I haven't really picked up the camera because I've just been busy and you know, life gets in the way. But this summer I'm actually super busy, especially in June. So I'm excited to bring you guys along our little vacations and stuff that we have planned. So my appointment is actually for Invisalign. The appointment is basically just to talk about like the prices and like the different trays and stuff that I'm gonna need. I was actually waiting on my insurance to see like how much they're gonna cover, if they're gonna cover anything. So I'm actually really excited because you guys know I have always hated my teeth it's literally since like I was in elementary school I've always wanted braces and then when my best friend got braces I begged my parents and they said no because they're too expensive and I've been wanting Invisalign for so long it's obviously very pricey and it's something that I was like thinking about and I'm finally like you know what I just want to get it done I was actually going to do it last year but then with everything that happened I was like I'll just hold off and do it next year so here we are so I'll let you guys know about that I'm gonna go now because I have like um yeah, like five minutes left. The appointment is not very far away, but I should really get going. Hey guys, I am back and I am so excited to announce that I am officially getting Invisalign. So when she was done everything, showing me everything, going through like the pricing and everything, she was like, do you need time to think about it? And I'm like, nope, let's get it done and order these trays. I am so pumped because if you guys have been watching my videos, you know that I've always talked about my teeth. Never really liked my teeth. I know that they're not bad, they're not terrible, but it's just something like that I personally personally have always been insecure about for as long as I can remember. So I've always disliked my teeth, but then about like five years ago, my bottom teeth started shifting and they got crooked. And I don't know why, but it made me hate my teeth even more. For a long time, I've been thinking about getting Invisalign and I kind of held back on it for a little bit just because it is so expensive. And I kind of figured always that the insurance wasn't gonna cover it, which they're not, but I already figured that. So I went into it expecting to pay out of pocket and everything, but I am just, so happy that I'm finally doing it because I feel like I've been talking about it for forever and it's finally here. And I'm gonna show you guys kind of like the before and after of what my teeth look like with this little like 3D video image. So this is my teeth right now and what they look like. So you can kind of see here my right tooth is the one that like in the front, which I hate because it kind of, it goes up higher than the one on the left. So after all is said and done, that is what they're gonna look like. They're gonna be much more symmetrical and straight and even and I cannot wait. It is such a subtle change, but it's gonna make such a big difference and I'm gonna be so much more confident and happy with my smile and with my teeth. So yeah, they should be here in about two weeks. So I'm getting eight trays, one for the bottom, one for the top, and then I'm gonna be wearing the trays two weeks at a time. So for 16 weeks. So yeah, I just keep looking at the after and I'm like, yes, I cannot wait. I will definitely be keeping you guys updated. So stay tuned. Anyways, I'm gonna make some tofu curry with white rice. I've been craving it. Even though it's like a million degrees outside, I still want like a good meal tonight. But before jumping into that, I do wanna give a huge shout out to Timmy for working with me in today's video. You guys know I love incorporating different kinds of powders and green powders in my smoothies just to get those extra superfoods and greens in that I might not always get in my diet every single day. So I have been loving the Teamy Superfood Blend. This is such a quick and easy way to get those superfoods in without actually having to make anything. So this one is great because it's low carb and low calorie. It's 35 calories for one big scoop, which is great. You can mix it into juices, smoothies, water. Now, quick little disclaimer, this is not a meal replacement. The purpose of this is really just to increase your daily like green and superfood intake. So it doesn't replace anything for me. I really just incorporate it in on top of my other meals that I eat and everything as well. I personally really like this in juices. I also really like it in just plain water. It has like a really light earthy taste. I feel like whenever I drink this, it helps get things going and flowing, if you know what I mean. So definitely great for digestion. I love it also whenever I do feel bloated. Anything like green smoothies, just anything green, I feel like always just helps me feel so much better and just incorporating more greens in general. So yeah, whenever I feel like I just need a little extra boost of some superfoods, some greens. I add this in my water or my smoothies and it's really great. So yeah, if you guys are looking for a new superfood blend powder to incorporate into your weekly drinks, definitely check this one out. And if you use code JUICYJAZZ, you get 20% off. So I will link everything down below in the description box if you guys are interested. Thank you once again to Teeny for working with me in today's video. And now let's start the curry. Okay, don't judge my dead flowers. I've actually kept them alive for about like two weeks. So very impressive for me. I changed the water yesterday, but I think these are 
pretty much all done now. They're so pretty though. Like I hate to get rid of them. I love having fresh flowers in the kitchen, but they usually don't last me longer than two weeks, but they're doing pretty good. It's just these roses. Anyways, let's make some curry. So this is pretty much everything you're gonna need. It's super simple and you can pretty much add whatever you want. So for my protein, I'm using extra firm tofu. But what I like to do with this is pretty much just drain it because there is water in here. And then I just cut it into cubes and I'm gonna pop this in the air fryer for about like 15 minutes or so at 370 or just until the tofu is a little bit crispy. And then I'll add it into the mixture and I'll show you guys. But I'm gonna start with this first, just like uh, draining this and cutting this. And then for my veggies, I'm gonna do carrots and and potatoes and I like to just chop these up into really small pieces and then just boil them separately until they get really soft and tender and then just for some added flavor I'm gonna do an entire red bell pepper and then I also am gonna do half of a white onion I'm just gonna saute that in a pan with a little bit of olive oil And the reason I like to add it in the air fryer is just because the tofu gets pretty crispy, which I prefer versus like this, which is just like really kind of squishy and spongy. And I don't like the tofu like that, but putting it in the air fryer is totally optional. It just depends on how you like it cooked. I saw this on TikTok, so I'm about to peel these potatoes and a little kind of life hack is to put a fork in it and then peel it this way. That way you don't have to worry about cutting your finger. So just put a fork in your potato and then peel it. I'm sure a lot of people do this already, but I don't know why I never thought of it, but it is a game changer. Alrighty, so I have my white onion, red pepper all chopped up. I added some olive oil to the pan and I'm just gonna let that saute for a little bit. And then I added my potatoes and carrots into the pot and I'm just basically gonna let those cook on the stove top until they're fork tender. And then here's the tofu looking perfect. It is nice and crispy, looking good. Just added my rice to the rice cooker. I did about like two, no, three cups because then I wanna have leftovers and then Hector can even take some for work tomorrow. So I just popped that in there. This rice cooker is from Amazon. I love it. And there's a lot of rice in here, so it's probably going to take like 20 to 25 minutes, but it comes out perfect every single time. Okay, now that I added all the veggies and everything to the pan, it's pretty much almost done. I'm just gonna add some coconut milk. This is the light unsweetened coconut milk. I just get this one from Walmart and I'm gonna use the entire container. Whatever coconut milk you use, it doesn't really matter. Just make sure it's unsweetened. So I recently started cleaning out my closet and you know what that means, out with the old, in with the new, whenever you declutter and get rid of clothes, it's just an excuse to go out and shop for more. So I got rid of things that just don't fit. I got a couple new things from Amazon and TJ Maxx that I was going to actually try on and wash everything and I was like, I might as well do it on camera and show you guys everything that I got. And then I also picked up this mirror slash jewelry organizer from Amazon and I'm just gonna hang that up on my closet door. So I'll show you guys that in the end. So let's get into the try on haul. Okay, first we have these amazing biker shorts these are from amazon they are the perfect color they fit perfectly they're super comfortable and stretchy by the way i'm not pregnant i just don't have a perfectly flat stomach so let's normalize that but yeah these look really good i feel like they cinch you in in all the right places it makes your butt look really nice this is me showing it off trying to show you guys that these are really stretchy here's a little quick squat just to show you guys that i feel like they are pretty squat proof i was wearing like neutral pair of thongs underneath and you can't really see through them so so yeah, I love these 20 out of 10 would definitely recommend these are a great find and they're very comfortable This next pair I got in a size medium. I like this color. It's kind of like a mid-tone grayish kind of greenish They're very comfortable. I actually wish I would have got these in a small I think they would have like fit a little bit better, but they are very stretchy Also, I feel like they do pass the squat test as you can see and they're nice I like them, but I'm not in love with this pair but they're nice. I would say 
8 out of 10. Now this next pair I'm in love with. I got these in a small. I love this color. I think these fit perfectly. These really suck you in and make you look snatched. I definitely prefer this pair over the ones that I just showed you guys. These are a little tight because they are small. I could have probably sized up, but then again, I feel like when you're working out, you kind of want to feel a little cinched in so that you don't have to constantly be pulling up your leggings. So I love these. I think these are great. 10 out of 10 would recommend this next set you guys need it this is sexy i love the way this looks it comes in a couple different colors i got this in a medium the material is great it's nice and thick really great quality it's a ribbed material so i feel like it's very flattering and the padding that comes in this little top is perfect it makes your boobs look so nice and perky doesn't push them up too much but it does it like just enough and these biker shorts I'm in love with. Everything about this, I love it. I want it in every color. This next sports bra, I love the way my boobs look in this. It's very comfortable. I feel like it gives you just enough support to work out in or just to like lounge in. I love the back. It's just a little bit too tight. I got this in a medium, so I do feel like it runs pretty small because I'm normally always a medium or a small in all of my sports bras because my boobs aren't that big. So I would recommend sizing up. But other than that, I love it. Great quality and it makes your boobs look nice. 10 out of 10. Then I got this oversized tee. I love the tones in here with the butterfly flies it's so cute especially with biker shorts that's like my favorite way to style oversized tees but this material is so thick and soft and really great quality I'm super impressed with it I do feel like it does run a little bit big I'm normally a small or a medium in my t-shirts but I feel like this one fits me like a large but I still love it it's great quality and I normally don't get my t-shirts from Amazon but I picked this one up about a month and a half or so ago and it is one of my favorites I wear it every single week the material is a little bit thinner than the one that I just showed you but it's still great quality super cozy and I love of the oversized fit okay this next top was supposed to be like a really cute kind of like summery vibe with high-waisted jeans but it's a little bit too big so this is a medium I should have got a small but it's a really cute shirt but since this is so oversized on me right now I'm probably just gonna use it as a swimsuit cover-up because I do like the way that it fits I haven't washed it yet so I feel like once I do it'll be a little bit more snug so I'm gonna keep it and the last and final thing I got from Amazon is this really cute crop top I recommend sizing up in this it is pretty small I got this in a large and it fits perfectly it also comes in a bunch of different prints as well which I plan on getting because the material of this is a little bit thin but it's still really nice for the price these next items that I have are from TJ Maxx so first I have these vintage high-rise mom jeans they're called they're from the brand rewash I got these in a size 9 they fit really nice they're okay as far as like them being comfortable they're not super stretchy and soft so I'm thinking about returning them actually because I'm not in love with them I think they fit nice but I'm not crazy about the material and these were $20 if you're wondering and I also picked up two of these tanks which I I love these are just great to lounge in or even to work out in and I got both of these in a size small I picked up a black one and a gray one and they were five dollars each so these I love this next sports bra is probably my favorite it's from the brand body up I got this in a medium it was only eight dollars and I love the way it fits this color is everything it is so pretty and this is a great find so 20 out of 10, go to TJ Maxx and find that sports bra. It's amazing. I picked up this bandeau, which I thought would be a really cute fit, maybe under like a flowy top or a jean jacket or something. It's really comfortable. This was $5. You can see that is the brand and I got a medium large. I thought maybe it could pair well with this button up shirt, but I don't really think it matches. But I do like this button up shirt with some high waisted jeans. I think it would be really cute and like a belt. I love the little light mint green color and I picked this one up in a small and it was $12 on sale. Okay, this next dress is a hot mess. So I thought it could be cute and then I put it on and the buttons keep coming off and they're really hard to like get in through the holes. So I'm returning this. It's very stiff, not the most comfortable dress and I feel like it's not flattering. So this is going back <laughs> and the brand on this is rewash if you're wondering so the same brand as the jeans okay next I just wanted to end off with some basics this t-shirt is from Target I actually was wearing the green one earlier and I have a black one and then a white one as well I love these to lounge in they're so comfortable or even to work out to sleep in they're eight dollars they're from the brand wild fable and they're basic but they're so comfortable and they're nice to have in your wardrobe Okay, my closet's a mess. I want to go through and deep clean and declutter more clothes that I know don't fit. I'm going to be doing that really soon, but I wanted to show you guys the organizer slash mirror. I just put it right up over the door because it's so much easier. You do have the option if you want to, to mount it up on the wall. It comes with like all the little screws and stuff that you need, but I just put it up on the door because I feel like it's easier and I like the spot here. So this is what it looks like over the door. I love it because it's white and sleek and simple. I mean, it is kind of bulky because obviously you have like storage inside of it, but I still like the way that it looks and again you can always mount it up on the wall if you don't like it over the door too so i'll show you guys what it looks like i love it 
so much storage in here. You could put makeup, perfumes, body sprays. There's even a slot up here where you can put all of your rings and stuff, which is really nice. There's a ton of little hooks in here for different earrings, necklaces, which I'm really excited for because my jewelry collection has grown quite a bit. So I have lots more room to display everything a lot nicer than where it is now. And I think it's like the perfect size for everything. So I'm gonna be putting my body sprays and my lotions right here and then more of my jewelry and everything, of course, up top. So I will link this exact organizer down below. It's super easy to put together and I think it looks really nice. Mm -hmm. 